we have taken decisive and comprehensive action to boost demand and jobs. And importantly, we stated that we are prepared to take whatever action is necessary to uh, ensure that growth is restored. And we are committed to do that for however long it takes to do that. We go on to say that our key uh, priority now is to restore lending by banks and other financial institutions and to take the appropriate action uh, to repair the financial system through continued liquidity support, uh, to continue with bank recapitalization and dealing with impaired assets through a common framework, uh, which I referred to and which we also agreed, which sets out a set of principles that countries would adopt where it was necessary to do so. And we also called on the IMF to assess the impact of what is being done across the world, to assess the actions that have been taken uh, so that we can, that will help uh, influence us in deciding what further action is necessary. Importantly too, we and the central bank governors uh, agreed that interest rates having been cut aggressively in most countries, uh, that the G20 central bankers will maintain expansionary policies as long as is needed using the full range of monetary policy instruments, including unconventional policy instruments, uh, which is consistent with price stability. And we agreed on the urgent need to increase IMF resources very substantially. We also wanted to ensure that the multilateral development banks uh, should do all they can with increased capital, uh, starting with the Asian Development Bank. You know, um, this is a very challenging period, and this is still evolving. Um, you saw, I think, some sense around the room and parts of the world of some deceleration, deceleration, deceleration in, the, in the pace of um, the decline in growth, and that's, I think, encouraging. You are seeing the world move together at a speed and on a scale without precedent in modern times. All the major economies are putting in place substantial fiscal packages. The stronger the response, the quicker recovery will come. And that's why the United States has passed the largest, most comprehensive recovery program in decades. We are each moving preemptively to get ahead of the intensifying pressures that you see across national financial systems. And we release today a common framework for restoring the flow of credit. The G20 has agreed to the need for mobilizing more resources for the international financial institutions to address the risks posed by this very sharp pullback in global capital flows and this sharp fall off in external demand. The G20 supports our proposal for a substantial increase in the emergency resources for the IMF and an expansion of its membership.